as you can see I'm on the home page of IFTTT so if you don't have any account here you can just simply use this bar get started and it's very easy you can just use your Apple Facebook or Google account to register here so I already registered and as you can see this is the first page we'll see after uh, you register so you have to choose some of these uh, things that you'll find that more interesting and we'll continue here uh, it's free and let's say that in IFTTT everything that you create is an applet every application is called applet so up to five applet is free more than that you have to uh, upgrade to actually a pro version so these are some of the recommended uh, applets um, regarding the things that I just choose but I don't want to use these applets here so this is my dashboard right here and as you can see these are my applets here which is empty so we'll come back to my dashboard here if for example I'll search sorry Twitter you can find bunch of applications here but the one that we are using is to uh, store Twitter tweets with a specific hashtag in Google Sheet and please note that this tweet will store from now on from the time you create applet uh, and after that and uh, it does not contain previous tweets so um, I already have that applet here as you can see uh, when a specific hashtag is used on Twitter add the tweet to a Google sheet so it is the applet that we're looking for uh, I'll link uh, the applet in the description so you don't have to try to find it so before the, we have to do anything else make sure you have a Twitter logged in in your browser and that's all let's go and do the rest of the things that we should do so I'll click on connect and we'll wait so as you can see uh, IFTTT have to connect to your Twitter in order to get the tweet so you have to authorize IFTTT to your uh, Twitter so I'll authorize the app and next step will be Google because IFTTT have to uh, connect your Google Sheet tools we will choose an account to do that so we'll access your Google Drive I'll ask for that I'll allow and all right you're all set you will use this uh, Twitter account and this hashtag for example um, something I don't know maybe Bitcoin and it will store to Google Sheet of this Gmail so if I uh, and here you can just uh, name your sheet for example Bitcoin on the and that's all if I press on save it's done and from now on every tweet containing a Bitcoin hashtag will store in our Google Sheet let uh, let's wait a moment until some tweets about Bitcoin were uh, actually created from now on and I'll uh, show you my Google Sheet too let's see uh, is there any tweet uh, stored or not as we can see uh, it already created the sheet as we name it so if I click uh, on it there you go this is all the tweet that we were looking for we have the date we have the ID uh, which uh, tweeted and we have the tweet uh, text and we have the link of the tweet so uh, this is all we needed it created many tweets uh, from the time that we uh, created the IFTT applet and as you can see they are all here so if I like click on this you will see the tweet itself there you go this is the hashtag and everything else so this is how we scrape tweets without using uh, Twitter API without 
uh, any code it is very simple everybody thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe in my youtube channel and uh, like the video get the notification on and see you in next video